Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is part 11 of our job costing video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about entering a credit card charges and it's all job related purchases. And uh, if you want to check out uh, all our other videos, you can go to our website. So our website is right here. It's newquickbooks.com, newquickbooks.com forward slash job that costing. So if you go to newcryptbooks.com and if you select job costing in here, it will take you to uh, job costing page. And uh, for this video, I'm going to be using QuickBooks Desktop Premier 2017. I'm going to be using uh, accountant version, so you may have a different version of Premier. That's okay. You can buy from uh, QuickBooks uh, directly for 350 or you can buy it from uh, Amazon for 300 it's the same uh, product and the prices did change sometimes come down to 270 right now it's 300 so you can check out all uh, all our uh, videos uh, give you step-by-step -step guide to uh, complete uh, QuickBooks job costing uh, so step one you know one through ten already done so this video I'm going to focus on uh, number 11 entering the credit card charges all right let's get started okay so I'm on QuickBooks desktop and uh, uh, this is one that happens to be premier accountant but if you have uh, uh, other premier uh, like uh, contractor edition manufacturing and wholesale professional or retail and if you're trying to do job costs or product costing uh, that will work fine Okay, so enter credit card charges right here. Enter credit card charges right here. Or you can go to uh, banking and enter credit card charges. It takes you to the same place. So account is, uh, the account is already set up. Let's say you're paying by uh, uh, MasterCard. Okay, all you have to do now is the selective vendor. Probably you're all familiar with how to enter credit card charges. The main focus is going to be how to enter a credit card charges and it's all job related okay so underneath you will see expenses and items okay so click item so this is your uh, best body if you want to do a good job costing so try to uh, uh, use items uh, rather than expenses if you want to do job costing all right the more cost you have uh, related uh, from items then you'll get a uh, better job costing picture so the expense is basically directly related, related to uh, uh, your expenses from chartered accounts and items is uh, from your item list which is uh, item list this one and it's all mapped to various uh, uh, accounts cost of goods sold account or, or or whatever accounts you have set up okay so all right let's just select one vendor in here let's just say Blackstone uh, concrete and just select one uh, item in here. Let's say the concrete in here. All right, let's say you bought 200 uh, pieces and price is five dollars. And now the it, the credit card charge you used for one thousand dollars. This cost also directly comes from your uh, uh, item list. And if the price is different, you can always manually change it like this. Doesn't matter. Okay, this. It depends upon how much you paid, actually paid, and so this is the one how you how it will set up your uh, average cost uh, in uh, in your item list. So it's based on actual cost, so it'll average out, and this one is six dollars. Next time it's seven or whatever, so it will it will compute it will, uh, it will average out. Okay, so the first one is uh, uh, item, all right, and you put the date and reference number is always. Uh, vendors uh, bill number invoice number let's say it's one two three four okay and then the customer job okay so now you select uh, uh, first the uh, you know the, it's a job uh, customer and job so job is house new construction and you see customer is Campbell header is your customer so customer underneath is your job okay and uh, so if it's billable back to your customer 
uh, like a reimbursement type or just billable uh, plus profit, then you select billable. But for the fixed price contract, you know, you don't want to select this one. So make sure to uncheck this box and the class uh, for your job tracking. It's already set up. So you may want to review all the uh, all our previous videos, uh, how to set up how to set up class and everything. It's already uh, several videos there. So let's say this is the uh, this is how it's set up for the materials. Uh, material cost is all related. Okay, so that's how we got to do. And if you have uh, more items you bought with the same credit card charge, credit card account, you just keep on li uh, listing it. So it'd be like a split splitting uh to various items you know let's say you bought another concrete another uh let's say this is the masonry one and let's say 100 five bucks same customer same job let's say and material cost like this okay and uh and you just save it basically that's about it so you you, you your credit card charge also 1700 so the moment you save this, the credit card liability amount will, will increase, of course. All right, so I'm going to save and close. Okay, that's it on this one. And now you want to see how the expense data uh, flow works in job costing reports. So you've entered credit card charges. What's next now? You want to see the job costing reports. That's the most important uh, part of this job costing. All right, so I'm going to go to a couple of reports and I'm going to close this one here. All right, the first one comes to, let's just look at the here. All right, so first one is the, uh, this is the one we just entered it, $1,700. The purchases by vendor summary. And if you click it, it will give you the breakdown of what you bought. Okay, and the next one I have is a job profitability summary. Okay, as you can see here, is the customer and underneath you just job and this comes directly from your uh, customer center as you can see here Campbell header is your customer and underneath is your job so the format which works this way job profitability summary it's, it's it comes directly from the customer center uh, how you how it's set up okay actual cost is seventeen hundred dollars that's the amount you paid this is ongoing you you know you haven't bill anything you haven't invoice your customer you know but once you invoice uh, your customer then you'll see the revenue for that job and then the difference is of course your profit okay so the next are uh, profit or loss uh, and the next one let's see item profitability uh, report in here so this is the one it comes from your uh, from your item list as you can see here item list everything in here okay item list so it's, it's, it's ongoing here this next one is account and everything to do with the level of details in here the level of efforts is taken to to finish that job and will tell you how much is costing by uh, each level of efforts okay and the profit and loss by job this is a really in PL uh, format it will give you the PL format account based in here and then it will give you the job and underneath you have a uh, uh, customer's name and in this case we spent seventeen hundred dollars for material cost straightforward and then you have a job class uh, cost class report okay so in this case uh, you know you have a uh, uh, material cost related you know both material cost and you, then you have a bunch of it will sort it out by class right now I have only one material cost related in cost in, in here so the, the breakdown is right there okay so so this is how it goes and so the, the couple of reports you have more than five reports, uh, you know, uh, more than five. But you know, to start with, you need the uh, uh, the vendor one, job cost, job class, purchases by vendor summary, profit and loss by job, item profitability report, job profit report. Uh, those five, uh, you should uh, review it on a regular basis if you want to 
do great job casting okay so uh so anyway uh so next video uh i'm gonna talk about uh uh let's see what's the next video in here so i'm gonna talk about entering reimbursable expenses back to customers all right so this one is done anyway uh thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channels uh, youtube.com for us slash bp controller this is the one you were just watching bp controller and uh, if you are into quickbooks online uh, we also have a separate video just just dealing with the quickbooks online so it's youtube.com for us slash thank you again